At the beginning of the film, we learn that the world's resources have been almost completely depleted due to overpopulation. To cope with the crisis, the UN requires all countries to get rid of 5% of their population every year. In America, there is a special method for this. Every year, all school children are required to pass a standardized test. Those students who get low scores are disposed of. In common, this method became known as dropout. People sincerely believe that the test existed for this specified purpose. The movie jumps ahead to Austin, Texas, 18 hours before the elimination test. The main character tries to prepare Simon for the test and point out all possible mistakes. Lana Michaels asks her younger brother and sister to be quiet and not disturb them. Simon is sure that he will not be able to prepare for the test in such a short period of time. Lana decides to help the guy, and for a certain fee, she gives him lenses that can show the answers to the tasks. The girl talks to a doctor on the phone and learns that her mother is trying to get out of the hospital. Arriving at the hospital, Lana tries to give the doctor money to maintain the woman. However, the doctor says that this lady has a very low white count. It will not be possible to save her anymore, so she can spend her last days at home with her family. Lana cries as she tries to cope with the terrible news. The movie jumps ahead to the governor's house 12 hours before the dropout. His son Blake Redding runs away from home to his girlfriend, Ellie Harper. The girl doesn't want to talk about the exam and is having a good time with her boyfriend. However, they are spotted by one of the guards. Blake is talking to her father in his office. Dean asks not to be distracted from the test, as a lot depends on it. There are about three hours left before the dropout. Armed men follow the school children on their way to the test. Simon is accidentally pushed and drops his magic lenses. The panicked boy realizes he can't find them. Lana is waiting in line before the test when Blake approaches her and asks her to sell one of the lenses. After learning that the girl doesn't have them, the guy leaves. Her friend Kellen appears next to Lana. When one of the students tries to escape from the guards, the guy films it, going to mail it to a famous journalist. Blake calms his girlfriend down and goes to the auditorium. There are two hours to complete the test. No talking or cheating is allowed during the test. Nervous, the students proceed to take the test. The exam is over and in a few minutes, the teachers prepare to announce the results. The students try to cope with the intense anxiety. Blake passes the test, but here Ellie is taken away, as she failed. The boy tries to save his beloved, however, the guards take her away. Lana notices Simon, who failed the test, being taken away for dropout. One year has passed. There are 24 hours left before the dropout. One of the students decides to have an intimate relationship with the teacher in order to be guaranteed to pass the test. Lana is very nervous because her family may be in danger again. Blake remembers his beloved girl, whom he lost a year ago. The guy actively trains and then records a video in case he suddenly loses his life. The test is three hours away. Lana sees her sister off, who has to take the test for the first time. Corinne promises that she'll be good. Blake seals the strange letter and puts it in the mailbox. After the situation with Ellie, the boy's relationship with his father became strained. Dean refused to help the girl, saying that the law is above all. Lana is very nervous before her final exam. Kellen walks up and feels the same way. Mrs. Cole is conducting the exam to the junior class. Before they start, the kids are shown a video about why it's so important to get rid of 5% of the population every year. Meanwhile, Dean receives an envelope from his assistant containing a disc that Dean, having followed Blake, pulled out of the mailbox. In the video, the guy says he's going to fail the test on purpose. Blake thinks that since his father is so willing to submit to the system, let him submit to a system that will ruin his son. Lana finishes the test before anyone else, as she is of high intelligence. Blake, on the other hand, is the earliest as he answers the questions at random. Finally, the test ends. The girl who gave herself to the teacher fails the test. Blake is amazed that his name was never called. Lana hears that she failed the test and can't believe it. Dean, who arranged for his son to remain unharmed, thanks the guards for their help. The teacher approaches the guards and asks them to check the results, as Lana is the best student and couldn't just fail the test. However, no error is found during the check. The teacher hugs Lana and hands her a strange object in her hand, asking her not to give up. The girl walks down the creepy corridors with the rest of the failed test takers. Meanwhile, the rest of the students are having fun at the party. The governor gives a speech and announces that he is going to run for president. Blake watches his father's broadcast but feels only growing irritation. Meanwhile, Lana and the rest of the students are placed against the wall. 
A disinfection order is given over the loudspeaker. Everyone must take off their clothes. Masked guards threaten the students, demanding that they comply with the order. Lana takes advantage of the confusion and puts the object her teacher gave her in her mouth. Meanwhile, Dean gives a speech in which he justifies disposing of the worst students, believing that this is the way to make the nation perfect. After the disinfection, Lana and the other students are given new clothes. Blake escapes from the prom and, after disarming one guard, goes to a secure bay. Meanwhile, Kellen hacks into the video surveillance system again and views the procession of doomed students. Blake seizes the moment and sneaks into the room where the exam results are stored. The boy tries to turn on the computer but realizes he doesn't know the access code. Lana and other students are chained to chairs and prepared for disposal. However, at that moment, Blake tears the wires and switches off the lights in all the rooms. The students take advantage of the guards' confusion and start a fight with them, fighting for their own survival. Lana pulls out a hidden object, a door pass, from her mouth and runs out into the corridor during the commotion. The guards deal with the riot and chain the students to their chairs again. Dropout supervisor Mason King enters the room and demands that the students be counted without fail. Meanwhile, Lana manages to hide in the corridors. The girl resort to deception when she is spotted by one of the guards. Lana struggles with the man, and Blake unexpectedly comes to her aid. An alarm goes off on the level where the heroes are. Blake suggests that the girls sneak through the vent so they won't be spotted. The guy asks why Lana is profiting from children who want to pass the exam successfully. The girl tells him that she is trying to save money for her mom's treatment. Blake sympathizes with her and proposes sneaking into the control room to get the real exam results. Lana, who has an access card, suggests moving to the server room, where they can switch on the backup power since there are still no lights. Mason guesses that Lana got out of the room using someone else's pass. The man gathers all the teachers and checks them for passes. Suddenly, however, Mason receives a call from the governor. Parents are alarmed that their children have been kept out of the school for hours due to a strange situation inside. Crawling through a vent, Blake unexpectedly fails and falls into the pool. Lana jumps in after her friend and tries to give him first aid. The characters change their clothes and return to the vent. Just outside the server room, a pass falls out of Lana's pocket. Blake pushes the girl away from the grill so they won't be seen by a passing security guard. Lana is sure they need to get into the corridor somehow, as there is no way to find out the results of the exam without the card. Lana and Blake go down to the lab room, where they quickly create some sort of magnet. Suddenly, a noise is heard outside the door. Blake helps Lana get into the vent while he himself hides from the guard. When the girl pulls out her pass, the guard suddenly grabs it. However, Lana realizes that it is actually Blake in disguise. The girl makes her way to the computer, however, she needs the password again. Lana decides to send a message to Kellen to find the entry, as Mason enters the password to log in. Meanwhile, the man continues to check on the teachers. The woman who gave Lana the pass manages to steal a card from another teacher unnoticed. Meanwhile, Kellen sends the girl a video. Lana enters the password and looks at the exam results. She learns that she completed the test 98% correctly, but the status remains failed. Blake, on the other hand, has passed status despite a 15%. Lana also learns that Ellie passed the test with 88%, but was still sent to the dropout. The governor announces that a certain girl has caused a disturbance at the school. Lana saves a picture of her results, but realizes that the return of the lights has caused her to be spotted. She tries to escape from the server room. Kellen, on the other hand, gives the videos from the school to a journalist, which allows the situation to be covered from a different side. Blake tries to free the students who have been taken to drop out and puts up a fight. Lana in the corridor is caught by Mason. However, the girl manages to send a letter to Kellen. The guy sees that the test was not fair and sends confirmation to the journalist. A woman breaks the news of the switched results live. Lana is returned to the dropout room, where Blake is also sitting. The character is ready to accept the inevitable. However, the governor realizes that there will be unwanted consequences and demands a review of the list of children sent to the dropout room. Lana kisses Blake, however, and realizes that he will now go instead of her. The kids who truly failed the test were disposed of. Lana runs outside and hugs her little sister, who has also passed the test, and she sees parents crying in the street who have lost their children. The governor is back on the air. The man confirms his non-involvement in the falsification of results by saying that right now, his son Blake is being sent to drop out. 
Dean blames Mason for everything and promises that he will receive a punishment commensurate with the crime. During the night, a suspicious truck pulls up to the secured area. Blake, along with the rest of the students subjected to the dropout, comes to his senses in the lift. The boy notices underground workplaces manned by masked men. Among them, Blake is surprised to notice Ellie, whom he thought had long since been disposed of. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.